first you have to head to the website nexusmods.com. Now select Games and select Monster Hunter World. If you cannot see it, you can also search it by selecting Games tab. And then add it to your games. Now you can find mods related to Monster Hunter World. Now scroll down and look for Popular All Time. And select Stackers Loader and Performance Booster Plugin. For this guide's purpose, I will also get souvenirs like pillars. Now head to Files tab and click on Manual Download. It will prompt you to download, then select a folder and save. This stackers loader is a prerequisite for Monster Hunter World mods. You need to install this for other mods to be able to work properly. Now that we have all of them, Extract Stackers Loader by the option Extract here. Now you will see a bunch of items extracted from the zip file. Head on to Steam and right click your Monster Hunter wall and select Manage and then Browse Local Files. A new window will open. Select all these files you have extracted and drag them into Monster Hunter World's folder. Now, you can go ahead and delete these from this folder as you no longer need them. For the others, select them and extract them with the same option. They will automatically be extracted into the native PC folder. Now, place the native PC folder into Monster Hunter World folder and you're good to go. However, it is sometimes confusing to install a specific type of mod as there are a lot of new things to be considered. So I will explain a segment to give a brief guide for costume types of mods and how they work, as it feels overwhelming for anyone trying for the first time. If you already know it, please leave a like and carry on with your hands. Now I'm going to download Kimono mod for starters, head over to Files. And you will see multiple options here. If you are unsure, check the images tab over here and match the names to see what they look like in the game. This one seems to be Indigo. And this is Aikido. And this is Kasumi. For this guide, I will choose Indigo. And do not close this tab yet as you will still need it later. Now extract them in the same place. But now you have different folders which are not directly installed into native PC. The main file represents the original mod that you are downloading. These are mandatory files for the mod to be able to work. Copy these and paste them inside native PC folder. Now, if you head over to optional files, there are again three different options. Now, this unclosed tab comes to your rescue. If you head over to images, there you can find three versions and how they look like in the game. Select whichever the look you like, copy these, and paste them inside native PC. Now there will be a prompt that these files are already inside the folder. Click replace the files in destination as you are updating the original files with a variation to your liking. Now you can copy this native PC folder and replace them again in Monster Hunter World folder. And you are done. You might have noticed that you can only have one variation at a time, but actually you can have multiple variations as well, but that requires much more steps. So if you guys are interested, please let me know in the comments and I will try to make more detailed guides on mods. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.